Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to Icarus. Uh, we have a gameplay in progress here that we haven't played in, I think, a little over a week, because I got distracted by uh, by Starfield, which of course we're playing a whole bunch more of this week. But I wanted to continue our gameplay here, because we're playing open world. We completed the first mission, got ourselves a house built. Got some weird critter living in my home now that i got to figure out what to do with. Uh, but I want to do some upgrading and move on to some other missions and what have you. Uh, hopefully we'll make a little progress tonight. Welcome everyone who's here in the chat so far, or if you're watching on the channel afterwards, welcome as well. As always, a huge thanks to everyone who's clicked on that join button to become a channel member. Thank you all very, very much for the support. And a special thanks to all of our top tier Mistakes Were Made members who were highlighted at the start of the stream. We're going to hit resume because we're already in progress on the Prometheus map uh, with the little house that I built. Ideally today we'll get that house upgraded to stone so that it's a, a little safer against the storms. Um, we're going to need to get some sort of a barn thing set up for this animal that's currently in my living room. Because it's just going to be in the way. <laughs> so if we can get that thing housed somewhere, that would be good. Uh, I don't know how susceptible it is to having things attack it, but we might have to try to build it in a way where it's not going to get smoked by something. I guess we'll see what happens. Why is Fox wearing a cod piece in this thumbnail? Listen, that's a professional cod piece. That's a special form of armor. Very few people are blessed enough to have said armor. Or something. Uh, oh, where's my bones? There we go. Oh, I guess I gotta actually have it on me. A uh, couple things I gotta repair here because my stuff's broke. Oh, I did already break it or fix it. All right. Uh, we also got some things that we collected at the end of the last stream when I was getting that critter. We've got some obsidian, shaped obsidian. We've got some scoria. We got this fancy obsidian pickaxe, which leaves a burning wound, which is kind of cool. Uh, minus fifty percent. Don't poop on my floor. I see you getting ready. I don't have a shovel. <laughs> Given the size of the guy, I'm definitely gonna need one. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna put the um, let's put the obsidian, the scoria in here. I've got this fancy scoria pickaxe. I guess we'll hold on to that for now. Uh, I don't even know where to repair this thing. Anvil bench, repair to the forge, repair to the foundry. Okay, so maybe I'll put the scoria in the anvil bench, because as I break this thing, I'm going to need to fix it. So we'll leave that in here for now. Uh, I guess I'll, I'm actually going to equip that thing. Let's go smack some rocks and see how well that thing works. Uh, we've got gold ore, but I can't smelt it, so that's fun. I've got this fancy rustic bed. We can go put that upstairs. I don't know if the bed actually makes any difference in terms of like the quality of your sleep, but can't hurt to try, I guess, right? Who's the hunter and who's the hunted? Um, I'm definitely the hunted. Nope, that was not what I wanted to do. Deploy. There we go. Spawn point set. Perfect. What else have I really got to fix? So, I've got this axe that I brought down from the, uh, the station with me, but I don't have the things that I need to repair that, so that's... That's going to be a foregone conclusion. Uh, I was smelting stuff in here, but it looks like this is done. We can let that go. I might as well store the gold in here, even though I can't smelt it in this thing. I'll get it in my inventory. All this here copper. Uh, shaped obsidian? I don't know what to do with that yet, but we'll put that in there. I'll keep this sleeping bag in case we need it, or the bedroll rather, in case we, uh, I don't know, go somewhere far or something. I'll stick it over here. You don't need a much bigger house. I am, yeah, yeah. Eventually I'm going to expand it. So what I'm thinking is um, I want to expand up up here. I've got this fancy bed. I don't know why I stuck it over here. I don't think this is safe over here, but... Um, yeah, so I'll probably, uh, I'll probably end up opening up the wall here, and we'll do like a staircase up to this level, and then we'll have... Like this upper level will be usable too for the house. Or I'll do like the barn or something up here, and I'll just make like that little walkway connecting to it. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of indecisive. Uh, let's harvest that. I got these seeds I gotta deal with. I don't know what to do with them right now. I'm gonna have to get some more... Um... Some more planters made. Did I actually cook something with the seeds, too? Or the, uh, the, the vegetables, too. Bones can go back in here. All the sulfur can go in here. I can go in there. Oh, I did actually start swapping up pieces. I got 14 scoria walls. I forgot we had gotten those, so I can actually upgrade 
some of the stuff to Scoria, the walls or whatever. That's cool. Don't need planters, just use a shovel to dig a hole. I don't have a hole or a shovel either, actually. Kind of, uh, kind of not set up well that way, you know? Okay, I want to change this to... Oh, I can't change these ones. Ah, oh, these are the crappy windows. All right, whatever. It's fine, I guess. Um, maybe we'll just put shutters in the middle one. I was hoping they'd be the ones that actually open up the other way, but I guess I guess this will work all right. It's not perfect, but it's you know it's something. I don't know that it makes a difference anymore. I think it used to be that when the windows were open, any benches you had near the window would get damaged from the environment coming in. But I'm pretty sure that's not the thing anymore. Wait a minute, what's going on with these bows I have? Longbow, longbow. Did I accidentally craft another longbow? Why did I... Oh, I brought two of them because I was... That's right. Forgot, I brought two bows because we were going out for a while and I wanted to make sure I didn't... have it get damaged on me. Uh, repair. Is this a longbow too? No, that's just a wood bow. So we'll put one of these away. Gosh. Might as well cook this stuff too. Got fiber seeds in here. Kind of forgot about those. Stack them together. Great to catch you live. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Not too shabby. What day is it today? Tuesday? Happy Tuesday. Or Wednesday, I guess, if you're on the other side of the world for me. Happy Wednesday. Uh, I know your bedroll can get damaged if it's by the open window. Can it? I mean, maybe there's some stuff that still does get damaged. Hopefully the, the, the bed shouldn't be an issue over here. All right, so we've got the curing station, but I have... How much salt is that? So is that one salt left? <laughs> I guess I need more salt. Uh, I don't think there's anything fancy to make your saltwater fillet sashimi. Oh. Wait, what? How does that work with a carrot? I'm confused by that. Seed cracker. Consumes one space in stomach, plus 100 max stamina, minus 15% stamina consumed by tool actions. Oh, jeez. That's pretty good. I don't know where we get the seeds from, though. Is that from the grass or whatever? Animal fat, green corn, wild salad, fruit salad. Alright. Turns to Icarus, more chance of him being eaten by space bears. That's right. Good old space bears. Now, I don't know, um... I don't know if there's actually bears on this part of the map. I guess we'll find out the hard way at some point. What do I do with tomatoes? There's got to be a thing I can cook the tomatoes into. Why do I have two different types of tomato seeds? Oh, one was a quest item, that's why. Alright. I guess that's a thing. Bone sickle. Actually, I should be able to craft some other tools here. So we can get an iron sickle going now. I'll make one of those. This one I can just scrap. We'll get that upgraded. What else have we got going on here? I could make an iron hammer, which would be a little better than the wooden one that I have. Do I have a pokey stick? I got a bone javelin. I'll make an iron javelin. Times five. Times 20. Oh, there's actually thrown ones, I guess. It's the iron spear I want, actually, to do the pokey things. I'll keep the throwing one for now, I guess. Um, let's make an iron hammer. I can go here. Grab this sucker. Okay. These floor pieces I'm going to need to swap out. So I'm going to need some stone posts, I think. Scoria beams. Stone beams. I need, need some fancy nails here. I don't really remember how many I made of those things. Start with like a dozen of them. Let 
Make do, what do you have? What, not sure if this is what, a medieval game? This game? No, this game's not medieval. This is more science fiction, even though it looks like I'm working with medieval tools. <laughs> the idea with this game, if you haven't seen it before, is uh, this planet that we're on, or this moon, I guess it is, um, humans decided to terraform it. And in the process of trying to terraform it, they screwed everything up. The planet's a hot mess now. It's not, uh, it's not livable by humans outside of, like, environmentally controlled suits like we're wearing right now. Uh, but there are valuable resources down here. So we're here to collect those. Send them back up to the space station. But there's other, like, quests and stuff we can do while we're down here, too. And then there's, you know, all the normal survival aspects of the game. Stack the salt in here. I think I actually... Stuck some meat in here that may not be cooked yet. I can... I can salt this stuff up. Get it to last longer. Salted food. Perfect. No. Uh, and I'll stick it here. Odds are I'll probably wind up turning that into fat at some point too, but... Somebody thumbnail almost looks like a sci-fi character next to a dragon. I wasn't too sure what kind of game. Yeah, so this is the, the critter that I was standing next to. This is Daisy. I don't know what the name of this thing is. But this is Daisy. Uh, if we make a saddle, we can actually ride around on this thing. It's kind of weird. Actually, I should make a saddle. What's it take to make a saddle? Basic riding saddle. Rope, fur, and leather. I should have all that. Fur I definitely have. I don't remember how much rope it said I needed to make, but we'll just make like ten or something. Might have been eight. Ah, I can't. Well, we can make six for now. I forgot I had curtains, too. Um, what was the other thing I needed? Leather, right? Oh, I might actually be able to... Oh, no, there's leather. No, nope, I got enough. Good. Oh, it was only two rope. Jeez. Totally overdid that. Okay, so. If we go into here, we can slap a saddle on this sucker. Somehow, that's not how you do it. <laughs> how do I put a saddle on you? I literally have no idea how to saddle this thing. Where's the... Where do I put a saddle on you? Uh, Equip a saddle in uh, in order to access the mount's cargo inventory. I don't know where to put it. <laughs> I can't yet. I can't saddle this thing? Ah, I just wasted my saddle materials. Whatever. Daisy's the giant... I, she followed me through in here somehow. I don't really know how. She just sort of, like, teleported through the wall. Now she's kind of in my way. I don't really know what kind of giant creature she is, though. Okay, so we need to uh, start swapping out pieces here. Okay, select an upgrade. I'm going to... That's Scoria clay bricks stone. There we go. It's been a while since I did this. I remember how. I definitely did not make enough of these posts. I do love how easy it is to upgrade them though. I moved too far. Ah, crap. Oh, well. Oh, shoot, I'm out. <laughs> okay, I gotta get more. Good for meat? The critter? That's Daisy. We can't have her for meat. You know, unless we really need to. We're not at that point yet, though. Not nearly at that point. Uh, alright, need more. More of these things. Let's name my pet. This is Daisy. Daisy. She was like uh, pre-named or whatever. Daisy's a blueback and she isn't rideable unless a later mission unlocks bear, uh, blueback to be tameable. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, she is tamed, but I guess I just can't ride her. Can the cargo pack be put on her? I have no idea. It says equip a saddle in order to access the, the mount's cargo inventory. 
So I'm gonna guess probably not. I don't know. What do I know? I haven't dealt with her yet. Some of these posts in the middle are gonna be kind of a pain in the butt to get to, I think. Well, I got all the outside posts done, but there's at least four in the center, maybe six. Hey, John Q, how you doing? Okay, so we'll make, uh, I don't know. Make six? One, two, yeah. Maybe at least six. Poor Daisy really has to go for a walk and do her business all while Fox spends time remodeling. That's right, but, I mean, she's cozy in the house. She's got, you know, she's got a little room in here. She can't complain too loudly. Which could, I guess, but I'm not really gonna listen. I gotta get this. I got some of the scoria roof pieces, but I'm not gonna be able to have an entirely scoria roof. It's just not gonna be viable. Okay, so that's taken care of. Put my floor back together here. Uh, and I need floor pieces, so it's, uh, what is it, four by... Four by four? Three by four? Four by four. God, I can't even, I can't see the numbers here. One, two... Nope, three by four, okay. God. Oops, what happened there? I need 12 of these. Wow, I actually got enough. Video quality's bad. Uh, sometimes YouTube will default you to a lower quality setting. You could try checking that. I stream at 1080p, but uh, YouTube will occasionally push you down to like 240p or something. And then it'll look terrible. Does Daisy wake you up in the morning for walkies? Oh yeah, for sure. She's a real puller on the leash, too, so, you know, it's a real workout. Just drag you down the street. Just like my dogs. Oh, it's a drac out there. That alone. Dirty drac. Guess I gotta fix that. That's my skinning table. There we go. Let's get out of here. I am the key master. I had quite a bit of damage, actually. Oh, I forgot I need to change the deck out here to stone, too. So I didn't make enough. I need at least four more floor pieces. In the meantime, we can replace these things. No, we can't. What's going on here? It looks messy, but I swear it'll get cleaner. Oh, this one's gotta be fixed. Can't swap it out if it's damaged. No, what occurs to me is I didn't get some of the posts in here. Yep. I've got a couple posts here that are still wood. I don't think the posts are actually a structural issue, but I'll try to swap them out anyway. Do you recommend this game full price? I mean, it, it really depends on what you like. Um, I've played a lot of hours of Icarus. I started playing it when it was in the beta. 
Um, so for me, it was 100% worth it. But I really like these kinds of games. I enjoy the grind, too, actually. Uh, it was really... It, the grind used to be a lot worse, because uh, you used to have to um, uh, restart everything all the time, and now they've got a, a mode where you don't have to do that. So I like it, but, um, you know, it's not going to be for everybody. It's hard to give a good answer, because, it, like, some of the stuff that I'm going to like, you may not, but um, I really enjoy playing it. Oh, I need more fiber. Crap, it's dark. What's those posts? Can't see a darn thing. Alright, we'll go cut some grass and we'll come back. The lighting on this map is a little weird, because you never really get proper sunlight. It's always got this weird, like, muted, purpley color to it. Which looks cool, but it's like being in permanent twilight. And... Boop, there we go. <laughs> Bed dragon now? Yeah, this is actually... This game's actually How to Tame Your Dragon. We've already won the game because we succeeded in taming one. Come on, bears. I don't think there are any bears here. Not that I've seen, anyway. There's other nightmare creatures, but no bears. Who'd have thunk it? <laughs> Alright, I suspect that's a pretty good chunk of fiber. There are bears, just not common. Oh, okay. Got it. No common bears, only weird, fantastical alien bears. It's like, where'd that second torch go? Let's see it for a second. Let there be light! Better. Okay, um... This needs to move. Actually, does this have anything in it? That was fast. Now you're in the after game, then. Yeah, yeah. We, we've already won. <laughs> fast. Oh. Well, that was awkward. I wonder if it's going to be the way to rebuild the floor here. The outside post will be taken care of. So I think I got all the floor pieces sorted now. <laughs> all right, that works. He's like, what are you doing to me? Don't be grumpy. You should be happy you have a house at all, buddy. There we go. Fixed. Look at that. Fancy floor now. Uh, okay, so I have scoria walls in here. We can make use of these. I don't think it's going to be enough of them. I guess we'll find out. Scoria. There we go. We'll focus on the bottom floor walls first. I'll give it a little more structural stability down here when stuff's attacking. Oh, was that just enough? Oh, look at that, it was. There was exactly 14 of them. Okay. Uh, the upper levels will have to be turned into stone because I don't have enough scoria to make more of this stuff. Can you bring Daisy into battle? Uh, not really. Don't think so, anyway. Okay, we've got, uh, four of the Scoria roof ramps. Ten of the corners. Um... I don't really know... how well this is gonna work. Let's see. I can do one, two, three, four... Five, six, and that would take that whole top section and make it scoria. But the four roof ramps. One, two, three, four. Oh, actually, I can get the whole front face of this thing into scoria. I wonder if the wood walls will have trouble holding it up. Quiet minds want to know. Let's find out.
Doesn't seem to be wobbling. Let's repair first. Well, it hasn't fallen down, so we'll call that good. <laughs> um, this can go in here too. I'm just saving these because I, I may actually uh, wind up using them later. All right, we're gonna need some wall pieces. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. At least thirteen of them. I don't know if I have enough materials for this. Nope. Make nine of them at least. So you go to sleep and the, and the roof collapses. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna. I'll shore it up by building up the wall pieces out of uh, out of stone for now. That'll help a bit. Don't worry, buddy. You'll be fine. What else can we craft? We need the um, the machining bench. Wait, not the machining bench. Um, where is the machining bench? And they just changed it up. Where do we get epoxy from? Am I trying to skip a level there? Or is it? No, that's made in here. Epoxy crush bone. Okay, so they just it changed the icon for epoxy. I think it doesn't look the same as it used to. Or I'm just mental. I don't really remember. Uh, either is really plausible. Get some stone. Actually, I think the only limitation here in building more of these things is wood. We gotta go chop some trees. It's weird how it's always three hits to repair these things, regardless of how much damage is done to them. What have I got left? One. left. Getting there. Slow progress is still progress. Mikasa es su casa. Okay, I need, uh, Leather can go in there. Put more rope back in here. Furs and sticks and things. Like a bunch of crushed bone. Wow, look at all the seeds I got from the f cutting down that fiber. That's crazy. Uh, they've changed the design of, poc of, of, of epoxy. Yeah, the um, the look of it is definitely different. Man, I got weird numbness in my thumb. Too much leaning my arm on the desk, I think. <laughs> okay, let's go chop some trees down. I'll quickly gather some wood. Eventually we're going to need to make a new axe, because uh, this one's not repairable, unless I can order some stuff down from the station. But I'm pretty sure we're going to need to get our hands on some exotics before I can do that. Because I have very few exotics left. Put the perk of the repair skill, it only takes one hit. What? I already spent all my perks. <laughs> Where is that one though? Waste not, receive additional stone. It's got to be in uh, habitation, right? Oh, re under repairing. Ready to work. I put nothing in repairing. Go me. Speedy wax. That's for the fire extinguisher. Increase move speed with fire whacker equipped. Increase repair hammer speed. Reduce durability loss and repair. Whacker endurance. <laughs> God, I'm 10. Oh, got to get that whacker endurance going. One swing hit, there it is. Chance to instantly repair building pieces. It's only a chance though, it's still not like a certainty. Let's 
where I'm tapped. Use the seeds berries to make granola bars. Mmm, granola. What cooking station do I need for granola bars? I gotta get some. I gotta get a proper kitchen set up going. Like right now, I just have this little ghetto one, but we're still only on tier two stuff right now, so we're not exactly like we're not living the high life yet with all the fancy things. You get a ton more points than new characters. Oh, do you? I, I mean, I have lots of points to unlock blueprints and stuff, but not not so many talent points really. I'm, I've, I've spent all those. Yoink! I need one more wall. Oh, actually, no. One... Four... And six. I need, uh, seven more walls. <laughs> Out of nails. We can make more. Give me more nails. I'm gonna be able to get another hundred there. We're getting there. We're almost stormproof. Ish. Heavy on the ish. You don't need any station for the bars. Oh, I can just craft those right in my inventory? Speaking of which, I should probably eat some food. Oh! Seed animal feed, and we got uh, berry and seed bar. 10 seeds and 10 berries. 75 max stamina, minus 10% stamina consumed by tool actions, minus 10% water consumption. Eh, it's not the worst thing. Can't complain too loudly about that, I guess. Oh, right, nails. I was like, why didn't that make enough? I remember. Alright, and then for corner pieces, I'm gonna need one, two, three, four, five at least, I think. Oh, it's gotta be at least six. It's gotta be an even number. What am I thinking? Get those going. All this construction work is making me thirsty. I get some proper lights in here too, so I can stop using my torch all the time. Oh, actually, we have the. Um, did I make the rustic bench up here? I thought I did. Oh, here it is. So, in order to make the candles in here, just need some fat, which I made a whole bunch of right here. Look at that, we make candles. This place can be like super romantic now. I feel like I didn't make enough. I've only got one left. Oh no, that's the right number. Okay, so that's good. If I can replace those fl four wooden floor pieces up there, we'll be fully stoned. Completely and utterly stoned. It's romantic? I think Daisy's getting nervous. <laughs> Hold on, Daisy Loki, let me go get that fat that I made for Greece. You just hold still there, little lady. Mm, that's right. Wait a minute, these things... Do these still require fuel? They've got like a, a health bar on the bottom of them now. I don't remember that. Hold E to access fuel. Yeah, they do still take fuel. Can I put wood in here? Nope. <laughs> fuel consumption. Does it only take animal fat to burn? Did they change that? It used to be you could put like sticks and stuff in there. Looks like it's only animal fat now, so that... It's a little bit more of a nuisance, but not too much, because I get a lot of meat. 
Make better lights out of oxide if you download the decorations DLC. Oh yeah, I haven't gotten the decorations, de decorations DLC. I'm, uh, I've been slacking on that. Oh, you know what? If I'm gonna put a door over here to access this other area, I guess I could put it right here on the corner. Otherwise my stairs will be in the way. Alright, show me that sweet, delicious fat. I don't know how long the fat lasts for though, That's, that'll be the bit of a catch. Um, I don't remember how to pick up just one of something. Nope. Nope. It's the alt button. Try one fat at a time. I want to see how quickly that burns down. That goes remarkably quick, actually. Considering I, it requires fat to burn. Ooh, and it doesn't cast as much light as they used to. Is it just me or those darker than they used to be? That is not a suitable light source. Crap, I made a whole bunch of those stupid things. Yeah, lame! They're definitely lame. Very, very lame. Oh, the poles in the walls? Uh, yeah, those are still wood. I'm okay with them being wood, though, I think. They never really seem to take damage, at least not from storms. So they could be like uh, accent pieces or something, I don't know. I'm okay with it. Ain't gotta be perfect, just gotta be good. Well, so when they came out with this rustic table initially, the candles actually cast a pretty decent amount of light. So you could put like just a few of them around your, your base and it would be pretty well lit up. That does not appear to be the case anymore. Um, I'm gonna need like some wall sconces or something, but I don't, I think I might need a different crafting bench to get to those. This is for stone pieces. Uh, no, I can make wall torches in here actually. We'll try we'll try wall torches instead. That's probably going to be the better option, I guess. Um, what do I need in there? Oh, I need sulfur and iron. It takes a lot of iron. I think like five of them for now. Gotta be careful about the port torch placement, though. It's easy to set stuff on fire. Well, if my base is made out of stone, it should be all right. As long as they don't set the wood pillars on fire, I guess. So if we put, like, one here, that should cast a decent amount of light. Uh, we'll put two on the back wall. Oh wait, the floor, I guess. <laughs> the floor is not exactly... It's not exactly stone, so maybe I should put this a little bit lower. Okay, so that'll be a decent amount of light there. And then if we put like two up here... I think that should be pretty good. In terms of the amount of light they'll cast. Now I gotta like fuel them all, unfortunately. Give me all this wood. A wood. It'd be funny if it set my floor on fire. God, even those aren't very bright. What the heck, man? They project it way more forward than they do upward, huh? Or like downward or whatever. It's really dark in here. This is not as epic as I thought it would be. Kind of a little pissed, actually. Why is it so dark? <laughs> That's a lot of torch power right there. I was like, what the heck? Check my gamma settings. I mean, my gamma settings were already set fairly high, so I don't know. Let's just double check. 
Uh, gamma's a 2.2. I don't, I don't really know what the relative basis of this is. Auto suggest? Controls the way to which LODs can be transitioning through me. I don't know what's a good setting for the, for the, the gamma. I don't want it to be so, like, bright that it's washed out, but... That's still lame. I mean, it works, but like the the torch that you carry around with you gives way more light. Well, this is a way to like. No, you can't you can't like change a setting of the torch to make it brighter or not, can you? Man, I'm disappointed in that. Oh well. What's FOV? Well, if, the trouble is, if you move the FOV too much, then it gets, uh, everything gets kind of weird. I've already got field of view at 100. If I stretch it more, it starts to get this weird fish-eyed lens. Like if I go FOV 120 or something, it's got, like, a weird curvature to it. I don't really like. You see, I use to sleep at night. Yeah, I, I mean, there's that too, I guess. I mean, maybe during the daytime it's sufficient. Maybe to light things up. Let's, let's see what happens. Oh, my campfire went out. Dang it. <laughs> Put all ah oh, crap! I just loaded all of the wood into the uh, um, into all the torches and stuff. Make it daytime. So it's a little better in the daytime. I mean, it's still not great. It's better than nothing, I guess. I don't know. I'm not thrilled by that. Not thrilled at all. I should get that DLC that lets me get some fancy stuff. Perfect for Halloween, yeah. Didn't have a stone base, but stood near a torch, caught myself on fire, and burned down two of the crafting stations. <laughs> nice. Alright, I guess that's a valid concern. You, you, you're gonna watch over that, I guess. All right, I want to make uh, this thing. So I'm going to need some epoxy. I started to make the bone stuff in here. Let's, what is this? Oh, well, they changed the picture for tree sap, too. Funky. All right, epoxy's in progress. Uh, I also need ingots and nails. Well, that'll be a problem, because I have the ingots, but I do not have... Oh, I got nails. All right, we're good. All right, ingots, ingots and nails. Take the ore out of there, we'll stick that in here for now, even though this won't smelt it. At least it'll keep it out of the way. What else we need? More nails! Ah, oh, crap, I need 120 nails. Stone and wood. I guess I should break down some of these things to get more wood out of them. Okay, so iron is a limitation. I shouldn't have made all that other stuff out of iron earlier. I have the regrets. Yeah, it's not good. All right, well, we gotta go find a cave, I guess. <laughs> oh, what is this? Unknown ore. This recipe requires items to be crafted frozen ore. Okay, that's weird. I think it's frozen ore. Pissed. Well, good night, everyone. As always, I'm Fox. I'll see you next time. <laughs> see you, <a> Trip. <laughs> Have a good night. Floor torches are best. It's starting to seem that way, but I, I, I don't know. I just like the, uh, I like the idea of having wall torches, but they, they really don't seem to light things up as well as I thought they should. Anyway, it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Everything's fine. I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. Uh oh. Put the sulfur back, put the animal fat in there, why not? Stuff can go here. God, jeez, the inventory's full in here. Let's take all the seeds out of here. I'm gonna stick them in the other thing. All this food can go upstairs. Sorry. Uh, everything up to this point, I guess, has been all, like, weird organizational stuff. But every now and then, I gotta tidy stuff up, you know? Can't be messy all the time. Despite all the evidence to the contrary. 
Wait, can I salt tomatoes? Are tomatoes saltable or is it only meat? Okay, you can salt meat. You can salt tomatoes. What? Give me that back. Dang it. Might as well turn that in. Oh, crap. I did that wrong. Turn the one into fat. This is going to go bad anyway. Okay, let's go find that cave. So, Old School before had said that there was a cave in this tunnel over here. And I didn't find it, but I think it was because I was looking for a cave that was already open. It's kind of neat. I don't know that the Scoria stone itself is different enough. You can make Scoria bricks, but I, those were all wall pieces that I'd taken from somewhere else. Anyway, over here in this ca this tunnel, Old School said there was a cave. And I didn't see it before, but I'm thinking maybe it was just that the entrance was blocked up. So, we'll see if we can find that in here. I'm starting to feel like I should just put like a... Oh. Okay, I thought that was a gator. Uh, I'm starting to feel like I should just put like a walkway along the side here so I don't have to swim every time I go in. But I don't know if like the gators and stuff will just attack it. First time in the tunnel? Be gentle. No, we've been in this tunnel before. We swam all over the place in here looking for the... Silly cave. Yeah, there was a gold deposit there. Come on, let me up. So apparently up here there was a cave, he was saying. But when I went up here to check before, I didn't see one. But I was looking for an open cave, not... Uh, not one that had to be smashed open. Okay, I swear this literally wasn't here before. Oh my god. I swear we looked here before, there was no cave. Am I wrong? Am I mental, or did I break into this finally last time when I realized it later? Now I feel dumb. <laughs> Listen, I know I'm not observant, but I don't think I'm that unobservant, am I? I'm gonna blame it on a game bug, it wasn't me. <laughs> well, we got a decent game to release now. Some stuff in it. Oh my god, this is pretty big, actually. I hear you, I don't see it. There you are. Oh, I got splash damaged. What the? Oh! Huh. I found a spot in the cave that's not classified as a cave. Oh, yes it is. <laughs> Why's the ceil Why was the ceiling so lit up there? That was crazy. Look at this. I can see everything in here. I got the pneumonias. Uh, okay, it's right over here too. There's like a tunnel out here or something? What's up with this? understand what the lighting is up uh, going on with this thing but uh okay I'll take it going too quick don't think you're doing it right do what right just really gone out of the way to hide many of the caves don't feel dumb well I, I what I feel dumb about is I was sure we had jumped up on that ledge when I was exploring in here because I had a ramp on me that, that got me up there but I don't recall seeing this cave in here
Oh well, whatever. Just take my ore and get out of here. Oh, I gotta go make some medicine to get the pneumonias. Life's always been weird. Remember the pitch black caves you were in the lit if you're underwater? Yeah, there's a few things like that that are strange. I guess they don't want to, because you don't have a light source you can use underwater, I can see why they would have made those light up. Because if you just had to swim through pitch blackness all the time, you'd never find anything. Light hail? Incoming hailstorm. Find shelter to protect. Wow, okay. That's new. I don't remember there being hail before. I mean, in fairness, it might have healed last time when we were playing, and I don't remember, but... And there goes the house! No, the house is all stone. It should be okay. Can you still building caves? Yep, you can. I'm building right now. Those, here's the, like, the roof piece I just threw down. I'm gonna get like as much of the iron and such first. What is this? Oh, more iron. Okay. It's the iron I need. Give to me the iron. Although coal would be good too. What's my inventory at? 65. <laughs> Gold over there, there's uh, iron up here. Stone can be damaged now, it's pretty rare though. I, all right, that's interesting. So I guess uh, if there's a big enough storm or something maybe? Like is there like hurricane force storms or like large hail or something maybe that can damage it? Yeah, I haven't got to metal buildings yet. We're still early on. Really not. We're only we've only just upgraded to stone. Never mind. Uh, never mind metal. Should just put a ramp down. <laughs> Would have been easier. An obsidian pickaxe can auto smelt iron and copper silica. Is there only a chance of it doing? I, I was not carrying these refined ingots around on me. That's amazing. Thirty percent chance to smelt when mining. That's amazing. All right, this thing's awesome. I gotta keep some obsidian around so I can repair it when it gets broken. I guess. Okay. Oh. This is a deep. What kind of ore is this? Is that iron? Aluminum. We got an aluminum deposit there. Works on gold, plat, and titan uh, titanium. Wow, that is definitely handy. I mean, it worked on iron and uh, iron and copper. Kind of a weird effect, but I'll take it because it, you know it's beneficial and all. That's a time saver right there. You need to find the swap biome. It's tons of fun. Um, so, 
I'm currently here. The swamp biome's actually just over here. I haven't gone into it yet because I've been busy like setting things up. I was sort of waiting for a mission to send me there. It's not that far away though. 91 of 200. Is this a PC game? It is a PC game, yeah. I don't think it's on console at all. I'm gonna love the needlers. There's this Barton. Swamps have clear, which can be turned into brick. Probably the strongest building material in the game. Clear. What you talking about? Okay, this isn't working. I get a little flooring in here. Play! There we go. <laughs> that, makes way more, that makes way more sense. Completely filled up my inventory. I was paying more attention to my carry weight. I didn't realize that my, uh... Oh, I can't really gather any more iron either. Alright, we gotta go back. Uh, I got a pretty good haul though. That's, that was sweet. It's a good chunk of stuff in there. that there so it's easier to get up next time. Holy crap, it almost looks like blue sky out there. Oh, now it's purple. <laughs> time to make a bigger backpack, yeah. I don't remember what the ingredients are in the... Uh... Uh, and the antibiotic that's used for making um, the anti pneumonia drug stuff. Where is that? Oops. Well, it's made antibiotic paste. Come me. Um. There it is. Antibiotic tonic. Epoxy charcoal and yeast. Oh, I haven't found yeast. Oh, that's food poisoning, wood infections, and pneumonia. Oh, yeah. So I gotta find yeast, I guess. Huh. All right, yeast will be a problem, I think. I don't know where to find that around here. The rest of it's easy enough, but yeast will be a bit of a pain. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Obliterated that poor guy. Be funny if it like dropped out of the sky now. <laughs> um, I think we blasted him through the world. Fairly certain I'm not gonna get my arrow back. Definitely not up. I, I think we I think we shot him through the world. That's that's fun. Well, how about that? It's so hard to despawn, right? That's crazy. Anyway, we got all this stuff now. So we can throw this in here and make some more nails. Uh, 
I think I'm gonna make obsidian arrows. Cause why not? Oh, I can make the. I should be able to make the cave worm bow and stuff too. I think now, right? No, I still can't. What am I sure? Oh, leather, 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 leather. We got leather here somewhere, right? Yes. Aha! Cave worm bow. There we go. I like upgrades. Looks like Ark, but better. Well, with Ark, you're doing like a lot more like taming of things. You can tame stuff in this to some extent, but it's not to the not to the same level as what you do in Ark. Uh, where's that bow I made? Let's grab that. I want to make obsidian arrows, cave worm arrows. Not obsidian. Where's the the flint arrows? Rather, I don't make flint arrows now. Oh, here. Okay. Huh. Well, already then. Copper and gold. Sticks. Need some more sticks. What did I... Ah, oh, I put the leather away. God, I'm smart. Oh, I've only got enough to make 33 of them. That's craziness. Okay. Uh, oh, actually, it makes five at a time, does it? Wow. I like that it makes five at a time. That's handy. Acquired. Change this up for flint arrow. There we go. Itty. Oh, shoot. I got epoxy in here. We need that. That fiber. I need the nails are crafted in here. And we're gonna need some more rope. A whole lot more rope. What are the most powerful arrows? Uh, I mean, the flint ones are great. The, the thing with the arrows I found is the only time it really makes a difference is when you're fighting a boss. Because for the most part, if you're getting headshots on critters, they're dying pretty quick anyway. The only ones that take like a lot of arrows are like if you're dealing with something huge, like the big scorpion or the giant worm thing or... Mammoths or something. Did I know there's an animal house? I didn't actually. Thanks for noticing. Oh, shoot, I didn't make enough. Didn't count very well. I are not math. What does the pet do? He's cute. Uh, not much. <laughs> not much. Uh, apparently, if you put a saddle on it, you can get its inventory, but apparently there's no saddle for this thing, so... I don't know. Mostly it's a decoration at this point that's gonna require feeding. Although it's food and water's at 100%, so it doesn't seem to go down. At least not quickly. Upgrades, upgrades, upgrades. Most powerful arrows are the composite arrows, right? Honestly, not worth... Upgrading from flint, though. Yeah, like I said, the, the difference in arrow quality doesn't really matter all that much. I, I, I've i always just stopped at... Uh, uh, I've always just stopped at flint. I've never actually gotten anything better. It didn't seem to be, didn't seem to be worth it. it. Seemed kind of pointless to me. I'm going to need more space in general, I think. 
You're kind of in the way now, critter. Now well, we can put this bench over here for now, I guess. It's blocking my window though with that little like backboard thing. Okay, biofuel. Oh, I gotta make the uh, cement mixer and stuff now, I guess. So we can get this that um, the next smelter going, the concrete furnace. So this is ingot, stone, nails. Oh, refined wood. What? So it takes refined wood now? Where's the? Oops. What the? <sighs> Found the player log. <laughs> uh, where's the carpentry bench? There it is. Copper nails. Rope. How many copper nails is it? 120. I have 66 wood in there. Is that gonna be enough? No. Chop more trees again. Oh, dang. Should probably kill some more animals while I'm out here too. I could use more leather and stuff. Hey Shane, how you doing? Maybe Daisy's gonna be an outdoor pet. Well, I'm gonna build a barn for her so that she doesn't have to be in the house. She's kind of in the way a little bit. Whoa. A way to lose a head. Especially since she's she's really just kind of useless. I can't do anything with her. She just sort of here as a companion now. Should have named her Wilson. That being said, composite arrows one shot most things. Yeah, but most arrows one shot most things. That's the trouble. I mean, the gators maybe it makes a difference on them because they're a bit of a pain in the in the butt to hit, right? That looked like the shot missed. <laughs> Slap a little critter on here. <laughs> oh my god, it's so pathetic! But it's dead. It's fine. What's it making? Oh yeah, carpentry batch. Uh, nails. Craft. I'm gonna start filling up space in the center here because I don't run out of room. Um, I'm gonna pick this up so it's not in the road. We'll stick it up here maybe. Probably makes more sense up here anyway. All my kitcheny type stuff. Okay, so stick this in the middle here. Think about another thing opposite. Oh wait, that's actually facing the wrong way. There we go. That'll work for now. It's gonna get crowded in here though. This is definitely gonna need to be bigger. Is she edible? Yeah, if you kill her, you can definitely get some materials off her. The obsidian pickaxe turns ore into ingots. Does an obsidian axe light trees on fire? Uh, weird? I don't know. Concerned that you really want to know that? Uh, just saying. A bunch of refined wood here. You make charcoal. Oh, I see. I think his arrows are only like 10 damage difference, but the bow is the bigger modifier. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I've got the, um, I got the cave worm bow going now. I haven't made the more powerful bows yet, uh, but obviously we don't even have all the, all the crafting benches and stuff yet, so... TBD. You know, while I'm waiting for that thing to do its thing, let's look at making a barn. I'll make it out of wood initially and we can swap out the, uh, materials later, I guess. Okay, so I'm thinking right over here, if I can put a stairway coming up here, it's not going to let me. Yeah, the wall's got to be gone for this to work, I guess.
Like so. It's gonna be weirdly elevated though, I guess. Man, is there half stairs? <laughs> I can't really use a half stair. I don't think there is though. Unless that the half piece the wood half pieces would do it, but I don't think so. Can you put the floor piece down first? Uh potentially. I was but I don't know how it'll deal with the snapping thing. So if I did uh like if I did a post up here. Oops. Uh here. Oh, the posts are up really high. I don't like that it's snapping. How do I stop the snapping? Reset focus grid. And there we go. Oh crap. This is not working. It's really hard to, to line it up though, that's the trouble. See like it's not it's not entirely properly lined up there. What if I go like no, nope, can't do that. Hmm. Oh, see, then I'm going to get the stone clipping through. That's not going to work either. Hmm. What if I put pillars down here first? No, don't. Ah. Is that going to work? Looks like it's reasonable. Oh, it's no, it's not entirely lined up. It's close though. <laughs> this is probably being way too fiddly. <laughs> Okay. Need the bones and leather. So confused right now. I'm trying to make a, a, a the stairs snap to the floor up there so they'll clip down below the other ones. I, it might actually be a problem though anyway. It's entirely possible it won't let me do it because it might say there's like an object uh, obstruction. I'm just testing. I want it to look cool. If we're gonna if we're gonna be here a while, playing around with this base, I feel like our base should at least look cool. You know? Oh, the bean burn. Okay, so then if we had the floor piece like on here, I can get it actually to snap in place. Do what I need. Floor, come on. There we go. And then stairs off of this. I didn't line it up right. <laughs> it's got a... Crap. Oh, what the heck? The torch didn't last as long as I remember them lasting. Uh, and... Oh wait, this has got to come up. Sometimes building in this game is just a little bit fiddly. <laughs> 
Too high. No, it's too far back. That's not gonna work. Dang it. How is the grid lineup different here for that? If I snap onto this one... Oh, let me get rid of this first. It's not setting the new grids. Like, I should be able to go from here and then have it place the next one over, but it's not doing it. Instead, it's reoriented the angle. Look at that, it's all screwed up. All right, you know what? Screw this. I'm gonna make it the... I'm gonna make it the easy way. The height will be a little weird, but it's fine. I don't care. I don't care, it's too much work. For something that's not gonna work anyway. Go across the top of the horizontal piece and attach to the bottom on the other side. Well, it's it's this angle. So I wanted it to go up just enough to clear up onto this ledge, but it's it's gonna wind up being higher. Which I'm kind of okay with, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. It's fine. That'll do, pig. That'll do. It's just that this is going to be like all, all weirdly elevated over here now. Oh my lord. Sometimes getting these things to snap is a real pain. A diving board. <laughs> Move our garden while we're at it, too. See, this is what we call progress, just not in the progressy sense. I'm making game progress without actually making any progress. Uh, that will not stay if I put that there. That's just gonna collapse. There we go. Holy cow, it's getting deep down here, man. Very steep. Oh wait, is there a different angle groove piece? Is there one that's like a 30 degree slope? I should be able to put a 30 degree slope piece here and that might work better. Instead of having to go all the way up that way. That's what, the wooden half wall pieces make that? Where's that? Wait, where's it in here? Crafting! Uh, the wooden half pieces might give me what I want. Now that I just placed all that stuff. Half pitch. Wood half pitches. Deploy. R. Uh, it's only a roof piece, though, in particular. That's exactly what I wanted, though. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Now it doesn't go up quite high enough. The rock is gonna like clip through the floor. But this is what I was. This is more of what I was thinking in terms of that angle. That makes a lot more sense to me. After doing all that work to get all this other crap set up.
If I do another one, it's going to get to roughly the same height, right? The angle's a little better. Third degrees would definitely clip into the stone. Well, this is the third degree one right now. It's not clipping in. It's 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 actually it's lined up perfectly with the stone to get the angle I want. Uh, the trouble is that at this floor height here, it's not going to work. So, like, if I tried to put this like, no, these things have got to go. If I try to put it on the end of here, it doesn't work because these half pitch things don't go up to the full level, right? So I need like a second one. <sighs> Crafting. Just restart the whole game. <laughs> Is that the new material you made? Some house of uh, better or stone and cosmetic? Um, so this one, where's my repair hammer? Hold on. Okay, so if I go to the repair hammer, these pieces have 3,000 hit points and the stone is 2,500. So the scoria is slightly stronger. But I, I actually just found the pieces already crafted. It's not like I made them myself. Deploy our... Do the second half of the half pitch. Yeah, see that? Still ends up at the same height, but it seems like a more natural progression up to it. The other one was super steep. I guess this will work. Whatever. I regret getting rid of that post now. <laughs> I want that post back. Um. There we go. Need to do something about my supports under here, though. This is going to be the tricky part, I think. So I got to go all the way down to the water again. Oh, that was way easier than I thought that would be. I feel like I should have flooring that goes across there. I mean, this goes all the way up to the height of the second floor in the other space, right? Is that gonna work? <laughs> it literally does. All right, score. I'll take it. Uh, this roof here is gonna present a problem, though. I'm gonna fix that situation. This is gonna go. You could do better. <laughs> Everyone's a critic. It's gonna be kind of in the way there. All right, I'm gonna throw walls all the way along the back here. I'm gonna worry about not gonna worry about windows right away, and then I'm gonna leave this side here open so that we can go out to like where I'm gonna have the penned off area for our animal. This this is where things get weird right here. I need more of those half pitch pieces. The one floor is killing you. Which one floor? This one floor? Right here? <laughs> Fine. Be that way. Better? Everyone's a critic.
Oh, these half pitches don't go upside down. Ah, crap. Uh. All right. Well, I guess regular walls will work here. In theory. Bueller. That's not right. That's not right at all. Oh my god, it still did it! I swear to God, when I rotate it, it doesn't turn out right. If I don't rotate it, it, it still doesn't turn out right. It's killing me. Yeah, that roof is going to be a problem. Um, I'm also going to want to switch some of these, I guess, into other shapes. Let's throw some door in here. Speaking of which, I should make a door so an animal doesn't run in. Oh my god, and people complain about Valheim. <laughs> Sometimes it's a little bit fiddly, a little bit fiddly. A lot of people with Valheim, they struggle with the um, structural integrity part of things. All right, I want uh, I want some decent windowage back here, so let's actually grab these up, put them down with uh, some better window space. Gotta be able to see the lake. If you're gonna have a house in the lake, you should at least be able to see it. You know, I might even put a door back here and put like a back porch. Not that we can really enjoy it because it's a game, but uh, you know, it might, might look nice. Okay, I'm gonna have to make this blend in. So my little central peak thing here is gonna be a little weird. Oh, how would it look if I had like a two-tiered thing here? Get an escape route. I didn't know an escape route. Hmm. I decided about how I want to tackle this. I think I'll ultimately end up um, stripping this wall out of here so I can have like a straight way through into there. Once I get the rest of this built up to be protective and stuff. Maybe I'll do like a whole bunch of my workshop things in here instead. There's a bit of bigger space for it. Today on HGTV, yeah. <laughs> Now what I won't be able to do is match the roof that I have here. That pitch isn't going to work this way because it'll go up too high and there won't be enough structural support. So I can't do that with it. I could do like a regular pitched roof. It won't line up with the other roof though. Which means I'll have to modify what I did with the base part of the building. You know what? I'm going to leave this for the moment. I'll toy around that with that after. Uh, we'll make it daytime though. Let's go do an adventure. Go find... See if we can get a mission we can complete. And my fire's not going again. Of course it's not.
Torch wind powers activate. all this in here. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it's not turning out quite the way I want it to. I mean, Bards IRL have supports too, you know. Well, yeah, I mean, but I wanted like an outdoor space. And I'm thinking that's not necessarily going to be the barn. I, I thought I would just do like an outdoor pen for the thing. I did like could I do like an angled roof piece there what's my roof pieces if I got rid of this can I do I know I just said I was gonna go do something but I just a random thought occurred to me Doesn't work. I feel like I'm no, that's not right. Wait, that's not that's that's the same the same angle, so it's gotta be the other one. No. Nope. I don't think it's gonna work. It's not uh it's not cooperating for me here. Like a half a second, it's flashing into the right. There we go. Hmm. I don't know. Is that is that gonna look weird? Well, let's go with the super chat. There's windmills in game, so me and Roki have something to chase. Let's see what I did there? Uh ha. Chasing windmills, little Don Quixote. Eh? I got you. Picking up what you're putting down. Okay, and then, like, regular roof there. I think I made stairs there, didn't I? Pieces. And then I can put a peak right there. <laughs> Doesn't feel like it lines up right, but I don't know. How's it gonna look from outside? It's gonna have curb appeal, you know. Otherwise, we're gonna like just wreck our property values. It's a little strange. <laughs> it's a little strange, but I don't know. Maybe it works. If I put if I turn this into a door, I could actually put a deck out front here on the upper level too. Put like a railing around it and everything. Yeah, I don't know. It's um not I'm not entirely sure I'm sold on it, but we'll, we'll see what it looks like. Well, we'll we'll deal with it after. Let's uh can we actually get another mission here? Oh, we can. Capture a thief, offender instigation. That'll give me a hundred stuff too. Requires tech three. I'm only on tech two. 
Attention, Prospector. A manhunt is underway. Group 15 property has been stolen. The thief reported to be in your vicinity. That's a horse! You are the nearest contractor to the site. Further instructions will be relayed to you shortly via precursory methodology. Going offline. Clearing frequency. To that damn AI just call me old? <sighs> Did you hear that? Some brave soul decided to make off with Group 15 tech. Can't tell if that makes him crazy, brilliant, or maybe just suicidal. Anyway, if you can find the missing gear, you'll probably get in the good books with the group. They seem to have a renewed interest in the area, for better or worse. One of their satellites picked up a signal from the stolen tech. Location marked on your map. All right, so we got to go and get ourselves some stolen goods. How far away is that? Oh, it's actually not that far. I feel like I, I haven't seen these before. Press E to lead creature. Come on, little buddy. That's right, I murdered your family. Come with me, I'm sure you'll be safe. How do I get it to stay here? I guess I have to feed it something, right? So the temperature's good, but it doesn't have food and it's not happy. So it's not getting tamed at all. Um, I need to make like the feeding trough and stuff, I think. No, I'll tell you what, you stay here. Stop following me. Think it'll sleep? I can throw a saddle on this sucker when it's ready. That might get me around quicker too, actually. I'd be alright with that. Ow, it's lying down! Oh, that's so cute. Okay. We got, look at that, see? I don't always murder the Q things, sometimes I choose to tame them. Boop. Glass? Okay, that pickaxe is gonna be a problem sometimes. <laughs> uh, wasn't really trying to make glass there, I don't think. Oh, here comes the weather. I don't have this roof finished yet. Okay, I need uh, three peaks, one slanted piece. No, actually, I guess it's like this is the same piece. What am I thinking? <laughs> That's adorable. Kill it. Right, I don't have enough wood. Okay, peaks. President didn't fall, but I'll take it. Um, that was not the right piece I made. Ah, crap. Need a whole lot of those, actually. Is it wood or? I get more wood. I'm all out of wood again. Uh, wait, did I store it in here? Yeah. Okay. Head out. 
The group's not known for their patience. What? Oh, oh my god, am I supposed to beat somebody like right away? <laughs> uh, I wasn't paying attention to that part of the mission. It's too busy thinking about what I was gonna craft. I mean, that window is definitely wrong. That's going to have to go, but... Structurally, it looks okay from here. It'd look probably a little bit more weird on the back side of the building. Just because of that flat roof there. Kind of works, though, right? It's not, it's not the worst thing. I've definitely made worse than that. More posts. Right, what about another there? Wood again. Always the wood. Uh, there's posts right there. Nice. Oh, floor pieces too. Man, I'm crafting stuff that I don't even need to. I don't know, I was going to do mission things. I can't help myself. I'm like a building addict or something. Put that backwards. Not happy with the look. Gotta change it. It's a very weird shape in here, but whatever. <laughs> it's fine. It does look like My Little Pony, only it's got like fangs or something. I don't know what's up with that, but... It's like a demon horse from hell that's very cute. It's got the cutest little whinny. A door, I need railings. Uh, one, two, and three, I need five railings. Oh shoot. I have enough. I'm telling you, it'll be fancy when it's done. It's not all stone yet, but... Okay, so investigate rumored base location. Research the specified location. It did say I needed level 3... Uh, crafting for this. I'm not sure exactly why. Thank you, Brent, with the super chat. Love you a bit of Icarus architecture. Your designs are always so cool. Yeah, I mean, I never really know what I'm going to do before I start. I'm kind of random that way. Um, these walls can go. Actually, I should probably still have the one here. I could put a railing there, I guess. That would work, too. It's 
Stairs going to the middle, which I, I don't really need this doorway here at all. Put a railing there and there. It's, it's a bit of a weird layout, but I don't know. I feel like it's going to be kind of cool. Where are those wall pieces I just broke? There we go. It's perfect! Okay, I want this to be scoria. This to be brick. Not brick, just stone. Yep. There we go. <laughs> quasi stone, quasi wood. It's beautiful. Look at the size and the space in here now. Add some columns to support the roof. The roof's actually well supported already, it seems. I'm not seeing any cracks or anything. Oh, wow, that's a little cracked right there. You're right. I probably should put some supports there. You could do one like right here would work. Oddly, this one's fine at the front. It's gonna be weird as I don't have a full score of flooring or whatever, but or uh, walls or whatever you want to call it. But I guess that's fine. Could be worse. What's the objective of this game? Well, there's different missions that you have to complete in the game, uh, but there's also just like the general survival and building aspect of it. It's a little, it's a little patchwork right now, but we'll get it sorted. Don't you worry. Don't you fret. Need food? Uh, yeah, I got, I got plenty though. Nothing's really urgent in the food front. All right, let's go see what the deal is with this uh, mission we're supposed to do. I don't know what they're expecting of me, but I guess we'll find out the hard way. We'll get all of it over there and then find out I don't have the stuff I need, but that's fine. Um, I don't need to carry all the stuff with me. Got these tomatoes on me. Those are just gonna go bad. Oh, I've only got I've only got two food types too. I gotta get that sorted. Slacking on my foods. I feel like it looks kind of cool, right? It's not it's not too ridiculous. Well, I mean, it's weird that it's patchwork of two different types of materials, but whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's good. It'll be fine. Please feed my horse. Is it actually, uh... Is it actually sick or anything? I don't I make the horse feed. I guess I gotta... Taming progress. 31%. It's, it's not, not being fed, but it's fine. <laughs> I'll get stairs there, too, I guess. Um, where do I make the, the trough and stuff to feed that thing? Water trough and food trough. It takes a lot of wood, man. <laughs> I run out of wood. I can't feed the darn thing. Hopefully, no animal breaks in while I'm out here chopping a tree down. I have a hard time telling which of these creatures are native Icarus or Berthies we messed up. We always figured there'd be a small impact on wildlife we introduced here. Hell, we resequenced their genes. Thank God there were no people down here when it happened. Hey, would have messed those people up good. <laughs> Don't forget the corn in the corner. Oh yeah, I do have corn over there, you're right. Right in the mouth. You can cook or dry the tomatoes. Well, I don't have a thing to cook the tomatoes. I mean, you just like roast them in the fire or something? Because I don't have like a, I don't have a cooking station or anything that has a recipe to cook the tomatoes, I don't think. Checker bars, you got walls and pillars slotted. You're right, I do. I gotta get rid of those two.
Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. That's just what we need. We need killer Tomatoes making a vengeance comeback kind of thing. Okay. Let's get rid of the uh, stuff. Oh, I want to make that. Um, what do I need? What am I lacking? What am I lacking here? Food trough? Crafted. Water trough? Crafted. Sometimes the noises that thing makes kind of freak me out a little bit. Can't decide if it's friend or foe half the time. When I hear it, I mean, like, I, I know that's, that's, a, that thing's fine, but. Okay, we'll put uh, a little water trough over here. A food trough over here. Okay, so what do I have to feed this guy? Is there, like, an animal feed I can make? Seed animal feed. Oh, I need wheat for that. Seeds I have, wheat I don't have. Fruits or animal feed? Fruits and veggies. We'll eat. What? Who the hell do you think you are? Oh, oh that, that was a bad jump. Stupid Drac. Heck, what's the thing even doing in the water? Attacking my posts. Feed the souls of your enemies. Yeah, it's a little pony. It, well, it, or a horse. It's it's very tiny though. It's like a baby one. I killed its mother and its father and its sister, or brother. It could have been a brother. Yeah, but we, we, we murdered things. Uh, that's kind of what's left. Ooh. Fatty steaks, you say? Pick that sucker up. I'll give you my, my third food type. Okay, uh, I have... Do you think I'll eat salted tomatoes? Well, let's give them some regular tomatoes. And I guess I can fill the water trough with a watering can? Will that work? This is my watering can. Or do I need a bucket or something? Can I even make a bucket? Wood walkway fortification. Oh, cool. Um, I swear I had a water can somewhere. This thing here. Maybe this will work. We'll see if that'll work for filling that water trough up. Tomatoes. Ah, look, it's got food in there, animal. Come and do the, the feeding thing. Press E to fill trough. Watering can works great. There you go, buddy. Now, I didn't build you any walls, so don't let anything eat you, okay? Because you're, you're like, highly vulnerable right now. And I'm a slacker. Just saying. All right, water can go here. Get rid of all this wood, and then we'll get out of here. I haven't seen a single cutscene. I love this game. <laughs> well, the cutscene is when you first load in, really. Um, you got, like, animated scenes when you shoot stuff. Which I guess is kind of like a cutscene, but not really the same. Consume. 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 Oh, no! That, oh, that third one didn't count as its own separate buff. Well, isn't that a pain in the butt? Okay, let's go see what they got over here. What's their deal? What's the frequency, Kenneth? I had four drags come out of nowhere when you were trying to bring the horse back to your base. Oh, yeah? The horse is Batman? <laughs> I'm Batman. I had to do it on principle. To protect my horse, you know. Can't let that thing have a chance. Uh, you have a saddle. Yeah, I do have a saddle already made for that. 
Whoa, well, look at that. You have 13 prime meat, or not prime meat, fatty steaks, I guess it was over there. There's lots of tomatoes near here. I haven't seen any berries, I don't think. Maybe we'll find some in our travels along this way. I'll have to make a point if we see any vegetables that I don't have near home. Or yeast. If we find yeast, that would be handy too. See, like, we've got carrots here. If I use the sickle on the carrot, does it give me more seeds? I got no seeds. <laughs> Poor Kia, it's a shame I had to murder it. All I got were bones! Oh my god. It's got even less meat than quail on that thing. The horse is the rock. Can you smell what the horse is cooking? Wow. Four of them to get two seeds, huh? Okay, well, two... At least to start. I, I want to keep the seeds. I'll, I'll probably eat the carrots along the way. But this, oh, what do we got here? Oh, that's my original dropship, right? Yeah, it's my original dropship. We're built on a server with a buddy of mine. We get dozens of jaguars, wolves, moas, and buffaloes destroy our base. Oh, that sucks. I can see that being a nuisance. Are you, are you uh, on the Riverlands map? That sounds like something that Riverlands would do. Oops. Oh, God, I thought I kicked my cat, but there's my daughter's slipper under my desk. I was about to apologize, and the thing wasn't even under there. Actually, I don't have the carrots cooked, but I... At least get. Oh, it just gives me max health, but whatever. Gives me a third buff anyway. Cryptic Fox the Kitty Kicker. No, it was a slipper! It just. It was soft and fuzzy like a cat. But it had like a. It has, it's got a, like a bit of a hard sole to the slipper, so it's got a little bit of weight to it. Almost like an animal. <laughs> I was like, oh! Felt a little bit like a fat cat laying on my desk. Because he does that sometimes. But everything's fine. It's all clear. We're all good. If you go north of where it's showing the swamp, there's uh, got berries and wheat, but also panthers and bears. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, I mean we might bump into some wheat other places. I, I do need to get some wheat. Be nice to be able to plant some so that I can grow food for my animals back there. And then I don't have to go hunting for it. God, I swear, I gotta like get a pad or something for my desk. I lean on the my arm on this thing so much, my my thumb is numb. And I wind up doing nerve damage. Carpal tunnel or something. Not Prometheus, we live up in like G2. Can't see your oh yeah, so I'm down in H7. So if you're in G2, you'd be like all the way up here. So oh, I got turned a little farther than I and I guess I could I could cross over the lake, but I think we'll we'll go this side and we'll just jump over the river. Might be easier to get across over here. You yeah, have a soul, unlike most cats. <laughs> You're only saying that because they're evil. Yoink. Hailstorm! Incoming hailstorm! Find shelter or protect yourself. Well, I don't have direct access to shelter, so we're gonna need to find like a rock to dig into or something. A lot of critters out here. Okay, none of these rocks here are very big. <laughs> it's kind of troublesome. This one will probably work, though. Hey! 
There we go. We'll wait out the storm here, I guess. When we get back home, we'll see all the wooden things that got destroyed. <laughs> That's a snowbomb, you're on F4. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's going through this... Oh, I am getting storm exposure. Oh, crap. Maybe I'm not deep enough in here? It should be deep enough. There we go, now I'm in deep enough. Okay. No, no, head out into the storm, yeah. <laughs> it's definitely not patched, that's for sure. F5 and G5 had old world crops, and J0 and lower I8 have old world crops, so... F5 and G5, you say? Oh, that's just over here. That's not too far away. Could go explore over there maybe after. See if we can get some of those old wood crops we can set up. Why would they patch this very real? Yeah, well, they didn't though. I just wasn't dug in quite deep enough, I guess. Can't find yeast in the swamps, by the way. Or I can find yeast in the swamps, okay. Is this an in-game DLC, or do you have to buy it? So this particular DLC is extra. Um, they've had other updates that have added uh, maps and stuff to the game. I think they were free, if I remember. The decorative one, I think you had to pay extra for, too. Um, but this latest one is their, their first major DLC add-on or whatever. So it is, uh, it is something you have to pay for. I did get a copy of it from the developer, so I didn't pay for it myself, but um, ordinarily you would. Half realistic, the hail's falling inside. Yeah, I've got an issue with, like, um, weather going through uh, stuff in this game. It's kind of always been that way. Oh, my torch is almost gone. Oh, crap. And I don't have enough to craft another one on me. Eh, I figures. Okay, hold on. What do I need? I need sticks and grass, right? So, it's not gonna be as good as the sulfur torch, but... At least it'll give me a backup. Lantern for the wind uses animal fat and lasts for a while. Yeah, I believe you. I mean, those uh, those sulfur-based torches used to last quite a while, but they seem to wear out quicker than I remember. I think there'd be lots of wheat in the grassland. Yeah, I would think so, but not, apparently not. It's not even nighttime. Why is my torch on? Because if I sit in here in the dark, on stream, it's very dark. So I generally leave the torch on pretty much all the time, just because it helps with the visibility on stream. Whatever you tunnel underground using... Well, the ground can't be deformed in this game, unfortunately. It's not a, it's not a voxel-based terrain. So they have, like, rocks like this on the surface that you can break apart. And because of the way they break, you can tunnel into them, but you can't tunnel into the ground. Game is $34.99 on Steam. The new Frontiers is $58.48? Is it? Really? Hold on a second. I mean, I'm in Canada, so, but I don't know if the... I mean, that'll alter the pricing a little bit, but... Uh... 
Icarus New Frontiers Edition includes Icarus and the New Frontiers expansion. 7558 Canadian. Just the New Frontiers expansion? Yeah, wow, 39 bucks for that. Huh. I didn't even realize. So base game for me is 45 Canadian. The New Frontiers expansion is 38.99 Canadian. Or you can get the bundle for 75.58, which is like 10% less or something. I should probably get the um, decorations pack too. There we go. We're free! Sort of. Man, this weather sucks. Out of my way, bush. So I wonder what we can steal from this base over here that we can make use of. Oh, look at the roots on this thing. That's cool. I didn't realize when they when they set these trees up, they actually made a point of like Making the roots big enough that they would go into the ground like that. That's kind of neat. I thought it was just one of those things where they basically drew the trunk and the roots down to the surface of the ground and that was it. Need ramps a good weapon for what's about to happen when you get to that location. Uh oh. <laughs> Let's just prepare, shall we? Uh, I mean, I have a bow. It's not, it's not in the best shape right now. Um... What did I run out of there? Fiber? It's fiber I ran out of. Make a couple more ramps. Let's get these ready down here. Oh, I need wood also. Man. Short a couple things, I guess. Probably did that one tree. <laughs> Maybe. But it makes sense for all the assets to be that way and then just they position it on the terrain so that if, happen if it happens to stick out, they get the bonus effect. Uh, okay. Two more of these. Four of them should be alright, I guess. So I have uh, 20 of the throwable javelins, which I've never actually used in the game. Um, and then I've got this fancy bow. I wonder if the... Are the cave entrances still as obvious as they used to be when you see them on a cliff? Torch goes out quick as I keep it on outside. Well, yeah, whatever. But I just leave it on all the time so that I don't have an issue with lighting for the stream. I turned it off. Everyone's very concerned about my 24 cent torch. <laughs> oh, is this what I need the, the ramps for? Does it get up here? Seems I didn't make enough of them. Should have gathered more wood, I guess. Okay, just so I know where this is, I'll let it extend way up. Oh, there's the cave right there I need. Uh, oh crap, okay. Go down the hard way, I guess. How in the hell did we get a ping from in there? That's a good question. Well, hey, it's time to figure that out for yourself. Get up there and see what you can find. Hello? I've come to ask you about your extended warranty.
Oh, we gotta go. Oh, we got worms. Good. Um, bad. You got worms. <laughs> Great, thanks. Whoa, big wormy. Jeez. It's a hunk of hunk of burning worm right there. This is a cool little setup they got here. I like this. Take my arrows back though, you jerk. How about we don't shoot at me? Thank you. Uh, these things don't have any fuel in them. Nailed him. Man, this must have been up here for a while. Just look at this place. This was supposed to be an urgent op. We're hot on the heels of nothing. I'm surprised we even got a signal from this junk. Well, suppose it doesn't change the job. Better clean this place out. Let me clean it out. There's like nothing here. Everything's empty. Oh, carpentry bench would have been nice to have. Actually, if I pick this sucker up, I can break it down. My starter base? Yeah, except for the fact that it's in a cave, so you got the like the cave lung effect, but it's they've even made it out of thatch in here, which I guess is fine for like a structure in a cave. Um uh, let's destroy this. Give me some copper nails out of there too. Look at the fancy things we got. Now I can do a little cooking. Okay, a little bit of wood. Oh, might as well cook the carrots too, I guess. Let, let that cook while I'm looking around. That's lame, don't need that. Rustic nightstand, I'm taking that with me. Actually, what's in here? Nothing. Is a fridge in the house? There is a fridge, sweet! Well, it's an ice box, actually, so we've got to get ice for it. Cause this wasn't isn't electrical, but rustic table. All right. Oh, there we go. Sandworm bow. Isis, pardon. What am I using? I'm using the cave worm bow. So cave worm bow is plus fifty percent projectile damage, three hundred rate of fire. This one is. 50% it's the same. Sandworm bow, same as cave worm bow. But I also have durable 2 on mine. This one doesn't have that. Alright, whatever. Sandworm arrows. 50 to, uh, 54 to 60 projectile damage versus these ones that do 63 to 70. 10% critical damage, 100% chance to wound on hit with attacks, 20% projectile break chance. Eh. This, isn't that fancy? Damaged audio log. Oops. All right. Um, that looks like all of it. Time to blast it back up to group 15. Start heading back to the site marked on your map. I forgot to turn this on. <laughs> Things cook way better when you turn the fire on, it seems. Ooh, how deep is that cave over there? Kinda wish I could throw a torch over the side so I could see how far down that goes. You got to keep that look, you have to return it. Yeah, it's a shame. What are you gonna do? I do like the setup they have in here though. So which stuff was theirs? The gold ore, all these things in the bottom here, right? 
Copper ore too. Just these things on the bottom row, right? These five? Is that all it was? Rest of it, I think it is fair game. One measly ramp, huh? I'm afraid if I jump on that, I won't be able to get back up. <laughs> I want to, I want to drop down a little bit so I can see what's down there. Absent a flashlight, there's no seeing. But oh, we, oh, we could torch the base. That might give me enough light to see too. Actually, oh, I'm going to wait until we finish doing a little bit of cooking here, though. Barbecued carrots, mmm, delish. Yeah, you're right. Forgot I could just rip the roof off this thing. Must repair first. I don't know, that feels like a waste of my time. Fix the thatch roof by hitting it with a hammer. <laughs> Doesn't feel like it should work to me. Okay, so I want to... Uh... Yeah, actually that'll work. So there's nothing down here though. Nope, just a big pit for some reason. Now I got myself stuck. <laughs> Actually, I should take these things with me. I'm going to need them to ramp back down to the uh Got to ramp back down off the uh the cliff thing out here. If it's nighttime, we might even end up sleeping in here and then leaving in the morning. What day is it? 2154, so we might actually have to sleep here. Yeah, it's nighttime. We might as well sleep here. This is cool. I like this entrance. That's very neat. Kind of want to build here. Okay, I left the bed intact. Is it close enough to the fire? Apparently it is. Only time advanced when you do that in this game. I'm not really worried about the rest of this food. I could probably just let it go. Yeah, whatever. I don't need the rest of the food. It's fine. Take the floor torches. Uh, yeah, that's not a bad idea either. Let's get rid of... Um... I mean, I don't really need the fiber seeds. I got... Those are really easy to get. Do these stack? I can't remember if the, tor if the floor torches stack. Yep, good. Very nice. No oh, god. Jeez. Don't sneak up on a guy like that. Only need to give the audio log? Oh really? Well that's strange. Where am I headed to here? No, it's this way. Can't be very far away. There it is.
Tease it! Collect the communicator blueprint. Reach the supply pod location, M. So long! Up into the hazy sky. Weird goblin dog. Oh, Jesus, there's another one right here. Collect the infrasonic relay device. Upgrade from the Citatai supply pod. USB drive for plans and an upgraded communication device. Kind of want to stand on top of that thing sometime and launch and see if it will take me all the way up. It's very bright. Well, I'll be. The group doesn't disappoint. That should slot into the infrasonic relay device. It'll give you access to the UDA mission requisition system while planet side. Go throw it in. If you don't have an IRD, it would probably be a good idea to build one. An IRD or an ABC DXYZ. Oh, there's my ramps there. I don't think I'm going to be able to reach them from here. Can't rotate the thing around either. That's weird. Yoink! Ow! All right, let's go home. Must repair first. What now? The heck? What's with the arrows down here? What's up with that? Oh, my pets! Oh my god, that's what it is. Jeez! It's like, who's visiting my house? Price is averted. Batman horses totally do my walls right now. Yeah. He's like, I'm hungry. You didn't feed me. You gave me four tomatoes. I'm a freaking horse. With fangs, I eat red meat. <laughs> Whenever the game satisfactory will be done and have achievements or if it will die off the Steam charts before. I don't know. I You know what? They've added a lot to that game since the, the time I played it a tiny bit. Another one of those games I meant to play a bunch of when it came out, and then I just I got easily distracted by something else. Like a dog with squirrel kind of thing. Anything shiny or squirrel-like throws me off. I mean, it's sort of like, it's hard to tell. Like, some games now, they just keep adding to them anyway, so... Can't really ever say they're quote unquote done, and yet there's they're like a, a polished product still. It's only early, oh, it's early access still too. Yeah, I guess that would make sense. So you let the game choose the horse name. It kind of gives good ones sometimes, does it? It should be tamed by the time I get back through now, right? Because it's got that little marker on my map now. Zero point inch now, much closer to 1.0, I'd say, another year. Oh, yeah. Another year? Man, that's a really long time in early access, all things considered. I mean, it's no seven days to die where they're still on alpha, but, uh... <laughs> that game's been out for quite a while now. Bruce Nane. <laughs> I'm Horseman. Bojack! We'll call him Bojack! Can't you was early what for access for what seven years? Oh, was it? I don't know. Like um, sometimes, 
you know, the early access thing is kind of confusing. In some cases, they they really are launching with an expectation of the product having a certain specific thing. Like Grounded, for example, was an early access, and they were very clearly building up to a definitive endpoint. So many other games that they launch in early access, and it's really just a way for the game to continue to evolve indefinitely. Which I'm kind of okay with. Like, it seems to extend the, the gameplay value. You know, they add new things, you want to go back and play some more, versus if you just got the game, like, completely finished. It might not hold the same value. Or, like, Subnautica is another example. That one was early access, and they had an endpoint they were building to. But seven days, seven days to Die, they're still calling it Alpha, but it's not Alpha. Like, come on. <laughs> It's like seven or eight years, and it's publicly available and being sold. It's not alpha. Satisfactory did migrate to UE5, so that delayed things. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can see that. Wow, look at our house from here, man. That's not a bad-looking house, if I do say so myself. I do wonder if I should peek the roof on it, though. That little center part there where I got the angles. I wonder if I should build the roof up so it's got like a proper peak. No, oh, well, I actually just kind of peaked already. Yeah. Oh, a little bit of a little bit of damage on things here. Hold on. Gotta get the hammer out and fix things up. Blast and weather. Wrecking my stuff. Told you the horse was eating the house. Yeah, it totally wasn't the storm. It was all about the horse, man. Is Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 on your list? Uh, not really, no. Sort of aware that it was coming, but no, I don't. I, I haven't been actively following it. I used to really like the World of Darkness stuff, actually. Um, I didn't think they converted well into video games, but... Again, one person made a game. Which game? Some major changes and improvements need to be done with the resource handling. It chugs before... Wait, what is this? No game should ever be in early access in more than six months. The trend shows games just die after that. And popular. Yeah, it sort of depends on the game, I guess. Like, Grounded... Um, Grounded was quite a while in early access. Um, and I had fun playing with it every time they added something new. I gather that's that maybe not the same for everybody, but so I don't know the, the the product they built up to. I feel like turned out really good, so I don't feel bad about that one. Actually, I don't really feel bad about any of them. And if every early early access game I've ever bought that was at least functional, I ended up getting some good entertainment value out of. So I guess I can't complain. Uh, I'm gonna put the storage chest underneath this uh, stairs here. Deploy. Oop, not oh, crap. There we go. Fancy. Okay, let's put uh, this stuff in here. Uh, we can put our decorative things up here. I'm gonna move this bench out of the way, I think. Pick up this stupid candle, it was just lame. Should destroy these candles. Destroy them all. All I get back is a stick. Super disappointed in the candles now. They used to be good. So I feel like they were. Okay, we can nuke this thing. Destroy. I'm gonna move this rustic bench out of here. Then we'll put in a rustic table. Cozy. <laughs> I definitely need to move some of this stuff around, I think. I, I kind of want to make this maybe the living area. 
Maybe I'll do like I'll get maybe I'll move the benches that are down here. Although if I do that I'll have to pick up all the supplies around them, I guess. Might want to move most of those over to here. I don't know. I don't know. I'm indecisive. I don't, I don't, I don't decide things quickly. My brain, she always thinks of other things. Uh, copper ore? Keep that. How about the copper ore is a quest item? That's so weird. Keeps that in my inventory. Oh, the fridge, too. I gotta put the fridge down. Um... Hmm. There we go. It's beautiful. Build storage cabinets. Psh, nah, I mostly put things on benches for the for the most part. You end up with, with so many different crafting benches in the game. It's, it seems almost pointless to build the uh, build the crafting stuff. Where can I put these that aren't going to result in? Fires and injury. Put them like both right in the middle. Which what have I got? It's a little better for lighting. Hopefully it doesn't light the floor above it on fire. I think it's got enough clearance there. It should be fine. Well, the question will just be if I stand too close myself and get ignited. If you need ice, you're near the entrance to the tundra. Yeah, the tundra is... Uh, what, down here? The swamp over here. I think the tundra was down here. Maybe through this channel here. I do need some ice for the ice box. Oh, crap. No, it's killing my horse! Oh, it's fully grown. You okay, buddy? No, you're poisoned or something. Why are you getting hurt? Oh, no, he's healing. Is he healing or is he going down? Team by nobody. Press E to claim ownership. Octavius, that's a cool name. I don't know. What should we name this thing? Should we just leave it as like the the randomized name that it gave, or should we name it something else in particular? G8. Haven't even checked on the horse, see if he's tamed and starving. Eh, it is. It's fine. He's only a little starving. Ral. <laughs> Name it Ral. Maybe I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Sir Clops a lot. I think I'm gonna name him Nate, actually. That's a good idea. Ah, oh, crap. You know what? How about you don't? Where'd that freaking bird go that just hit me? It's because there's a dead animal here. There. It should stop the thing from coming back to bug me. Um. Will it re Do you think that thing will eat roasted carrots? What about carrot seeds? <laughs> Actually, I want the carrot seeds. Um, I'm gonna have to put some kind of a defensive wall around this just so the poor little horse doesn't get totaled. Oh, no, stay here, stay here. Come here, buddy. Just because I tamed you doesn't mean I want you to, like... It's okay, Nate. You be good. You stay here. How do I tell it to stay here? There we go. You, there you go. You stay. I want to see how fast this thing is. If it's better than the ostrich things, then it'll be all right. There we go. Saddled up, baby. <laughs> it doesn't jump. What the heck? There it goes. Let me just check the timing on those jumps. It won't jump while you're running, apparently. You've literally got to let go of the run button to make it. That's stupid. 
That makes jumping almost useless. You can't jump when you're in a gallop. <laughs> Careful not to leave the horse on follow in a, in a defensive state. Yeah, I have it. Uh... <sighs> That's going to bother me. Why you do these things? Why, game? <laughs> you gotta stop running and jump, and he does like this little hop kind of thing. That's super lame. Oh my god. Wow. Just, that's like epically wow. Uh, how much will this thing hold, actually? 200 kilograms. Same, way, same carry capacity as what I have. Which is funny, if my inventory's full, and I got on top of the horse, it should theoretically be over its carry weight. <laughs> yeah, the jump thing is ridiculous. Like, how can you not run into sprint and, uh, and jump or whatever? Like, or not a sprint, but a gallop. How can you not gallop and jump? Okay, so I have to unlock, craft, and place the infrasonic relay device machining bench. It's in the machining bench? Infrasonic relay device. Jesus, that thing sounds awful. Dehumidifier, cement mixer. Iron crop lot? Good lord. That seems like overkill. Oh, the oh, I forgot about the alteration bench and stuff. Infrasonic relay device. I need aluminum ingots, so I've got... Ah, oh, crap, that's gonna be a little bit. I've gotta get the, uh... Oh, I've got to get the cement mixer and all that kind of stuff going. Let's throw more lighting up here, maybe. Deploy. One over here, too. I don't want to get it too close to the corner, just in case. Oh, my God. Wrong button. I have to go chop more trees. You have 10 minutes to impress me? <laughs> impress you with what? Listen, just so you're aware, I'm leaving my pants on, okay? We don't we do not do that on this channel. <laughs> do something with cement. I'm actually, uh, I haven't built up enough stuff here to be able to do things with cement yet. We're right now on the tier two crafting benches. I've got to build up to the tier three, tier four stuff. Where we can start making anything fancy. Um, I hadn't, you know, up until this point in the game, with all the times that I played it, I never really bothered to get up into the tier four stuff because it just wasn't worth it. Constantly having to abandon everything. But now that they have the, uh, you know, the forever game or whatever, probably makes more sense now. Um... Put this in the storage box. Gee, I'm gonna stick all my seeds and stuff in there too. I'm gonna have to build a little farm plot so I get some stuff to feed my animals. And cook with. Because I want to feed myself too. Keep your pants on, get the knee pads. <laughs> Kitchen, new area, bedroom where it is, and workshop in the basement is what I do. Well, the trouble is I'm already feeling crowded right here with my workshop stuff. Um, I, I, I guess I could take the stairs out and leave it just like this one walkway. And then I could make the floor straight across. I don't know. I, I, I'm undecided yet. I'll, I'll figure that out later when I get to the point of actually having to do something. Um, okay, I need... I need some more of the, um, stone pieces so I can finish swapping all that stuff out. Which means I need nails. Should be easy enough. 200 of these suckers. Gonna need that leather. Gonna need that wood. Thought I had leather in here, but I don't. Might have to go chop some trees. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need more wood to make these, uh... Make these stone pieces I need. 45 wood I don't think is gonna cut it.
Random check-in after years. How's the back and leg doing? Oh, hey, hi. Ow! You son of a crap! Oh my god! Jeez! Okay, those are aggressive, just for the record. <laughs> I didn't think they were. Good lord. Uh, back's doing better. It still bugs me, but uh, I don't have the kind of pain I used to have. My left leg has gotten slightly better also, but I still have a numb foot and it doesn't work entirely right. It's mostly better though. I, I Like, I, I don't suffer the way I was, which is good. Jeez. Don't even. Back off. Get your own corpses. God, these horses are violent, man. They love you. <laughs> yeah, they love me in a way that they want to eat my face, basically. That was a horse. Well, they're sort of horse-like. Oh, a gamey meat. Yum. That's what I was hoping for. Gamey meat. Mmm. Delish. If you're using default key bindings, Q will take all. Uh, I did change some of the key bindings, but I don't think I changed that. I'm terrible about using key bindings in games in general. Don't ask me why. I don't know. I use them regularly when I'm doing like an RTS style game or whatever, but other types? Forever clicking instead of using the hotkey. The way the place I built my house, the um, the shadow from that cliff falls on it really early in the day. It's a very dark over here. Kind of wish the sun was coming the other way; we'd have a little more daylight. Oh well. What can you do when you live in a shoe? All right, what do I need here for, for pieces? Um, I should probably deal with the roof first, I guess. One, two, three, four. Four of the angled pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the regular slopes. out of oh stone <laughs> that might be an important factor when I'm making stone things Uh, three of these? Oh, I need more stone. Alright, we'll have to go break, break some rocks, I guess. Nobody lives in the Twitch. Why are you here? No idea who he is. Oh. <laughs> Falk, did you get randomly redirected to my uh, my stream or something? That does happen sometimes. People will be watching something else, and when it, whenever they're, whatever they're watching ends, they get sent over here. A guy playing video games on YouTube. I thought it must repair first. No! Oh! oh no! Uh, crap. Okay, those are gonna need more support. <laughs> 
Ah, I lost one. Oh, that's gonna cost me a little bit. Well, that's a nuisance. Okay, I gotta get some rocks so we can try to sort the rest of this out. Fortunately, there's some right in front. You listen to me for no reason? What's you talk about? I don't listen to nothing. Watch out for the random lobsters. What? Lobsters? The obsidian pickaxe is very satisfying. Yeah, it's great. It smashes stuff so quick. It's way better than screwing around with uh, the other ones. So it takes a lot of wax to gather up stone, though. Guy playing a god disguised, <laughs> just, yeah, just a dude dressed as a dude, just, or, or just dude playing a dude dressed disguised as another dude. All right, stone acquired. Totally got stone right there. Um, I don't know how many of these I need. Probably a whole bunch of them. While well, that's working, let's put some support structure in here to help support the roof a bit. Ah, oh, I need one more. Out of fiber. It's weird. This thing's tamed by me. I've never fed it, <laughs> but it's got it's perfectly good for food and water. It's like it never needs anything. It's kind of weird. Can you make stone pillars? I can make stone pillars too, but uh, I kind of like the way the wood looks against the the stone. But yeah, you, you can do um, you can do stone pillars also. This is one right here, the stone beam. Uh, all right, we need this for upgrading again. Oh crap, I ran out already. So these should be fine now, I think. Okay, those are good now. I need two more walls. I think I actually have some walls outside here too. I'm gonna have to change. Yeah. So I need um, four, five, six, seven walls at least. Did I do anything on the back? It's all open on the back. <laughs> I should probably fix that too at some point. Uh, okay, so I need seven more walls. I need a couple of the peaks. Uh, which would be this thing. Oh, actually, I'm going to need, um... Active water connection will increase processing speed. Oh. That's fun. I haven't done any water connections in this game yet. Okay, so that's there. The rest of these taken care of. We're almost done. Very nearly all upgraded. It's 
flashing that something needed to be repaired. Well, I don't know what it was. It wasn't a fart, was it? It was a weird looking horse, man. I gotta put some stairs up there, too. Uh, I need floor pieces, too. Is that two of these I need? Stone Langle Peaks. Rock foundations are better. Yeah, I believe you, but this is just what I have at the moment. Oh, shoot, I forgot to make one more roof piece, too. Two more of those angled ones. And then a sloped roof piece. Ching! <laughs> Love the mohawk. Yeah, the horse mohawk's a little crazy. It's weird that it's got those funky teeth, though. I mean, it's a, kind of an alien mutated horse, so I guess it, you know, it makes sense for it not to look right, but. Still, creeps me out, man. Creeps me out. Don't need these. Don't need this. Should have gathered more salt while I was out. I did pass by the salt of things a couple times. Let's throw the meat in there for now. It'll take a while for it to break down. Okay, who's attacking where? Leave him alone! I gotta put a wall around this thing. <laughs> I'm doing my horse a disservice by leaving it out there as bait. Get on the table, you jerk. God. Okay, I think I got it all converted to stone again, so we should be okay for rotten weather now. Oh, uh, well, I don't have the porch out here converted. I probably should do this too, I guess. If I don't, every time we get a storm, this will get wrecked. It'll look weirder as stone, I think, but it's fine. I need three floor pieces to get that taken care of. Found a generation ship called Constant for the human race survival in Starfield. Oh, that's cool. Missing two outside under the porch. Oh, am I still missing? I thought I had them all taken care of. I'll, I'll double check. Mm, nope. Those are all swapped. We're good. Oh, 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 I didn't mean to jump. Ah, oh, crap. Well. This is what it looks like from the back side. <laughs> I should really turn these things over to stone too, because if something attacks the, the wooden poles, they're more likely to fall down. Such an underrated game. Just tuning in. Evening all. Hey, Cryptic, right? How you doing? I like this game. I mean, there was some valid criticism of it when it came out. Um, but in terms of like the core survival loop and everything, I think it's good. Some of the, uh, the story around, like, why the planet's all messed up is a little strange, but I've had fun with it. I have a few hundred hours into the game, but not, like, insane amounts, but a good amount. Okay, I want those railings to finish off those. And with that, should be mostly done on the outside for now.
There we go. I think I have one more torch left. I might put that outside here. That way when I'm coming home, I can actually see my, uh, my house from a distance. No shelter? Oh, they gotta be inside? Oh, alright, well, screw that. Guess we're not doing that. That figures. Build the rest of the wall now so it doesn't just, you know, forget. Yeah. Uh, well, let me make it daytime first. My torch burned out on me. Oh, it's not time yet. I gotta wait 30 minutes. In the meantime, um, what kind of wall should I put around that thing? Make up put stone ones, I guess. Oh, wait, I might need the, um, where do you make the palisade stuff? I think I just, I could do, like, reinforced railings or something, and then put a wood, like, a gate in it. Stockade walls? Where's the stockade walls? What's the ETA on the water wheel? Oh man, I'm still, uh... I don't know, I'm still tier 2 right now. I'm working my way up to tier 3. I haven't really, uh... I haven't really raced to get it. Did I not unlock the stockade stuff? Where is it crafted? You put the wall torches outside? Uh, you know, I don't know. If I'm gonna get steel, we can test that. I'll we'll grab the one. We'll grab the one from down here. We'll try this. Yeah, it seems you, you can put this one out here. Nope, it says no shelter, so that has to be indoors too. That sucks. It's lame. A little better lighting if I don't have it up so high, I guess. You can, it just turns off during storms. Oh, is that what the deal is? Okay. Eh, I mean, it could be worse, I guess. Where do you make the Palisade stuff? There it is. Wood wall fortifications, is that what I need? Nails and rope for that. How big are these things? I'm assuming as a fortification it'd be pretty big, like a that'd be like a big wall. Can somebody explain what Volk is on about? I'm the only one who doesn't get it. I have a feeling Volk is maybe back in time. <laughs> he may not be current on the stream right now. Might be watching something from a while ago. Two and a half blocks high-ish? Oh, that's pretty high, actually. That's kind of big to have around an animal pen. I don't know. That sounds really big. Maybe I'll just put stone walls out there. One more walkway than, uh, than walls, because one will be a ramp up. Oh, wait, are you talking about for the wood wall fortifications? I think I might just put stone walls around it. The trouble is I don't have gates for the stone wall, so I can't really... I can't use that. Wait, this is live? <laughs> no, Chris, it's totally not live, man. 
Sometimes when you click into a live stream, it won't start you with the current live position, though. Like, I've, I've joined some of Brian's, and I'll be, like, an hour behind. And I have to click it to, to jump it ahead. Don't like this concrete stuff. Steel... Steel bar... Building trim. Oh, that's cool. I can get all this stuff open. Get all the points. Why not? All this glass stuff. Creature deterrent? Are those tall walls uh, creature deterrent? Or will they just attack it? I feel like they should have like an animal pen walls. I mean, we have these wood fortifications here. I don't really want like a gigantic wall around there. Unless I put it out farther so that it like blocks off more of my base in general. Oh, the scarecrow thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, you put like the rotting meat in it or something, right? I feel like Volk is struggling. I don't understand. <laughs> uh, crap. Hey, Daisy, she was yummy. I bet she was. What about half walls? Can I make stone half walls? Are these a half wall thing? Half pieces aren't vertical, though, are they? I want to see what options we get with the with these. Oh yeah, we can make half walls. There we go. They all do that. Although I don't know what I'm gonna do about the entrance way because I don't have a gate. I guess I could put like a wooden gate in it. That might work. At least it would if I had more stone. <laughs> I have a lot of stone again. Oh crap, it's dark over here. I don't, have a, I don't have a torch anymore, I burned it out. Just use regular fences for pens? Well, my primary concern is the stuff that's going to be attacking it. Um, I don't want it to break, like, right away. I made that mistake before, and it, you know, bad things happened. School and super chat. Everybody's got to get stoned. Thanks for the super chat, old school. Buffs. We don't need no stinking food buffs. <laughs> Suck it, Drac. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Took a drink of water, but I didn't get parasites at least. <laughs> right onto the floor. Yeah, I got enough stone now to make the uh, little fence pieces, so I want the stone half pieces. 
Ugh. Dang it! Give me nails. Drank bloody water. Yeah, it's all. It was only a little blood. It's still good. It's still good. And then I saw there was a uh, a gate that I could make, like a reinforced gate kind of thing. Where was that? Where was the gate? It's not in here. This is all the fancy stuff. Reinf oh, there it is. No, that's a wood railing gate. Wait, can you put a wood railing gate on a stone fence? Does that work? Where's the reinforced one? I thought there was a reinforced one I could make. No, it's just wood railing gate, I guess. Um, what do I need for that? Some fiber. New Icarus player. I have all the iron I need. Icarus vet. It'll last 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a never-ending process trying to keep up with the, uh, <laughs> with the iron. It's brutal. Even worse when you start to get into, like, the microchips and all that kind of stuff, and the, or the electronics, and then you gotta deal with all that, too. Little Misty Vixen, thanks for clicking the join button, and welcome to the top-tier Mistakes for Made membership level. Thank you very much. Appreciate that support. I need a whole lot more of these half-wall things. I did not make enough. Oh! Oh, these are not gonna work. Crap. Well, that plan failed horribly. Ah, <laughs> uh, I thought, why? Because uh, of the way it's, I guess, wait a minute, I could change the snapping. Nope, it's still, it's placing it in the ground. It won't let me, it won't let me get an above ground placement. That's, that's epic. Thanks. Thanks for that game. That's perfect. Ah, eh, crap. No, it, it seems like the, I can only do half wall lower. There's no half wall upper. So I, I can't place it because the lower ends up being in the ground. Alright, wood railings it is. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just throw some railings around this thing for now. Just anything to keep the uh, the beasties out for now, I suppose. What's going on here? Post is sticking out there. All that effort for nothing, really. Run game. Run games out to get me, man. Maybe those will come in handy for something else later. It's good they're not a nuisance to line up. Oh wait, yes they are. This will be enough to, to keep those, uh, those Drax things away. Oh, really? You're not gonna let me clip it into the wall? Come on. Dang it. 
Could be that two steep bull. My horse needs shelter. Yeah, it does. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? It dies in a storm. Probably could happen, actually. Am I get what am I getting hurt by? What the? Jesus, I just got hit by lightning or something. <laughs> Jump in the water! Ah. Jeez! <laughs> Alright, it's been a while since I've been hit by lightning. Holy crap. Alright, come here, horse. Look, it's got shelter. <laughs> let, let me jump right through the wall and roof and stuff, so that's fine. <laughs> oh, God. My hair got a little sandwich. Why am I hurting? What kind of storm is this? Wait, why is there a quest thing over there still marked? That's weird. Oh wait, because I haven't done that. I haven't finished up that quest. I haven't built that thing I gotta make. Alright, well, having been struck by lightning, that seems like a good place to call it a night. <laughs> it's already quarter after midnight my time. I gotta work in the morning, so I'm gonna crash for tonight. But thanks everyone for coming to hang out while we played some more Icarus. Uh, I'll be live again tomorrow night with some more Starfield. Can make a little more progress in that game. And then on Thursday I'm playing uh, Bigfoot with my buddy Nate. Again, around 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I have the full stream schedule for the week posted on the community tab. If you want to check that out on the channel, you can find it there. Uh, but thank you so much, everybody. I'm, as always, Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.